not gentlemen, gentle people. This is for the title of the Corn Husking Champion of Calgary. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. The corn is flying here, folks. A corn shucking competition is a long way from the Indian desert where Ross Sherman was born. But the 46-year-old liberal leader is no stranger to tough, physical farm labor. My first job, every summer, Dad would send us off to the Fraser Valley to pick strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and beans. Growing up in Squamish, B.C., Sherman came to Canada as a six-year-old who spoke very little English and knowing little about his recently adopted country. Uh, I remember the first day in school, it was hot dog sale. I came home, I go, Mom, they cook dogs in this country. <laughs> From a self-described Huckleberry Finn childhood, building tree forts and summers spent floating down the river in an inner tube when he couldn't even swim, Sherman ended up at the University of Alberta's medical school. You know, I grew up on the street. As, as a young immigrant kid, it was even tougher. But I think that actually helps help make me who I am today because it gives you resilience. It gives you a, an understanding of the people's issues. That's why my whole life has actually been committed to, to serving the public. I've been an inner city ER doctor, so I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth and I've committed my life to, uh, to serving those who need help. Dr. Raj Sherman has 10 husks all done. That has brought Sherman here, shucking ears and then helping to sell it as part of a charity corn boil. Thank you so much for supporting your good cause. Yes. For me, it's about people. And, uh, and that's why I'm an emergency room doctor, because you're touching, listening to, caring for people. You're making a difference each and every day on the spot. <laughs> That was August. At the time, Sherman was running for the Liberal leadership, which he won on the first ballot a few weeks later. First elected as a Progressive Conservative in 2008 in Edmonton Meadowlark, Sherman was named Parliamentary Assistant to the Minister of Health and Wellness. Before long, the emergency room doctor who still practices on Sundays was on a collision course with his own government over health care. I was faced with a moral decision. There were things that the government had did that, did that was wrong. They were dishonest. Good, hard-working Albertans were dying in waiting rooms. Meters from care. Sherman's criticisms of his own government got him booted from caucus, forced to sit as an independent. I've repeated these allegations outside of the confines of the legislature. I don't see anybody suing me. It ain't libel and slander if it's the truth. Free from party restrictions, Sherman became an even more vocal critic of a health care system and a government that he says had lost its way. The Honourable Member for Edmonton, Meadowlark. Thank, thank you, Mr. Speaker. It has been brought to my attention that due to fierce competition for finite operating time between surgeons, of 1,200 Albertans on a wait list for lung surgery, 250 died waiting on that list many with lung cancer. I've also been told by others that this happened under Minister Marr and the Honourable Member um, from Sherwood Park, and that Dr. Trevor Thiemann of the College of Physicians and Surgeons and Capital Health and Sheila Weatherill knew about this. Is the Minister of Health and Wellness aware of this? I knew what was going on behind the scenes because the government had planned to privatize health care and bring in private insurance. They were lying to the public. People were dying and they were covering it all up. They were punishing staff who spoke up and uh, the public had a right to know. Today I want to talk about three things. Things that matter to Albertans. Now it's Sherman's face on the side of the campaign truck. He's gearing up for his first election as Liberal Party leader, talking about more than just health care. For them it's about winning an election. For us it's about doing the right things for Albertans and by Albertans. He's been dubbed an Obama Liberal with a platform that includes increased taxes for Alberta's richest individuals and companies. He wants to use that money to improve health care, create long-term care spaces, and eventually provide free tuition to post-secondary students. I was the self-proclaimed orange Tory when I was over there. I'm an inner-city emergency room doctor. I'm the son of fresh immigrants. I understand what it's like 
There are things I agree with on the fiscal side with Daniel Smith, on the humanitarian side with Brian Mason. Not necessarily all things with any one of them. I'm not an ideologue. I'm not a left or right wing ideologue. I'm a pragmatic person. I believe in evidence based policy. Let's do what works and let's do what's right. Sherman estimates that he's seen more than 100,000 patients in his 15 years in the ER. And given the option of the blood sport of politics or the life and death drama of the emergency room. <laughs> Jokingly, I'll tell people. Give me a guy with a gunshot and stab wound any day of the week <laughs> versus a microphone on a stage when you got 500 upset constituents because they have a power line coming through your area. Um, both jobs have their challenges, but they also both have their rewards. Here, if you make a good decision, you have the ability to impact a lot of people in a positive way. Here, the ability to, to achieve good is immense. But mind you, having said that, the ability to screw things up is really pretty immense as well. And, and that's what happened when I was thrown out of government. I didn't With files from Kelly Kreiderman, Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.